The video that I'm bringing today is a little different. The video that I'm bringing today is more of a call to action for the aviation community. And being a teacher here at a 147 school, for those of you who are new, my name is Bryce. I'm an AMPIA with about 10 years of experience in general aviation, and I currently teach at a Far Part 147 school uh, in the San Antonio area. So with that being said, I've been making videos on this channel for a while about becoming an AMP, how to get an AMP, the good and bad of being an AMP, and also just like general maintenance videos working on general aviation aircraft for my side business. But this video, I can't help but notice a trend as of late, which is we keep hearing reports and we keep hearing um, incidents, if you will, at different airports. And this video serves as a call to action for all of my aircraft maintainers and, and rampies and everybody else that's out there in the industry working on airplanes or servicing airplanes or keeping airplanes airworthy. And the point of this is to say that we got to, we got to stop doing what we're doing. We've heard so many accident stories lately. This guy got killed. This guy got jumped into an, in, this guy jumped into an engine, which that was kind of on him. But you know, this person got ran over by a tug. This person did this. And I guess what I'm getting at is as a community, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of these accidents be because, you know, the tow bar was broken or like the safety pin on the tow bar was broken and it, and it broke off and that's why this happened. Or, you know, the, the throttle or brakes on that tug were bad and that's why this happened. Or, you know, he, the whatever, like whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. But my point is that I'm seeing more and more of these reports and these incidents because of complacency and because things are broken. And as, as a community of maintainers, as a community of people who are on the ramp, and that goes for pilots, and that goes for everybody involved in this aircraft that's not corporate, right? We gotta do a better job of standing up and saying, no, this tow bar is broken, and I'm not going to use it because it's dangerous, or this tug is broken, and I'm not going to use it because it's dangerous. And if you do work for a major airline, and your boss wants to have an issue with you about that and you want to get fired or, or they want to discipline you, that's a grievance. That's a rather big grievance with your union and they're there to keep you safe. And I don't know if it's a generational thing, I don't know if it's a, a, a culture thing, but it seems like more and more of these accidents are happening, are happening due to some form of complacency or some form of broken equipment. So this video you could say is a little about safety, but it's also a call to action of standing up uh, to your boss and standing up for your own safety. And I'm also going to call you to be a little bit more responsible, if you will. I want you to do a better job of keeping an eye on your team and the people around you. I want you to do a better job of checking in on your coworkers and making sure everyone is following their procedures or whatever it may be because we keep hearing these reports or we keep hearing these students who saw these accidents happen or watched these accidents happen and that's just in Texas. I can think of like six incidents in the last year that have happened just here in Texas that I have heard about from my students or former students. I don't even know the scale of what's going on in the rest of the United of in the rest of the United States. But let's be honest, this has always been a somewhat dangerous injury we, or industry. We all know that. We all know that aviation maintenance and aviation servicing and line work is inherently dangerous and there are certain dangers that come with that. So as a community, I think we need to do a better job of mitigating that. I think we need to do a better job of taking care of one another. And when the boss says, no, nah, just use that tow bar anyways, or just do it anyways, standing up saying, uh, no, no, I don't, I don't think I will because I don't want to get hurt today. And that can be dumb stuff. That can be like a, a step ladder that's rusted on the lower on the lowest step. Like you throw that thing away, get a new one. You know, like take care of yourself because at the end of the day, we all have a wife. Well, maybe not a wife, but we all have family or someone that's counting on us to come home at the end of the day. And we need to come home to these people and we need to start doing something in our lives to make sure that that happens. So if you've made it to this point in the video, I realize it was very short, but I do appreciate you watching. Go and check out the rest of my videos. If you haven't, a lot of them are a lot better than this one. Uh, but as always, leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. Go build something and be easy.